Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have partnered up with Shortlist Beauty once again to share how I incorporate their two-step system into a daily makeup routine. So a daily makeup routine for me is pretty practical and fast. I like to use products that get the job done and don't take a ton of time. So Shortlist is a two-step skincare concept and you start out with a serum. And you can use their products morning or night and also alongside of your makeup, which is what I'm doing today. The first step in the routine is the serum and the serum basically helps to protect the moisture barrier in your skin and it regenerates the skin's surface. It also has some really good ingredients in it like vitamin B3, glycerin, and hyaluronic acid. And because of the consistency, I really like to use this as a primer underneath my makeup. It feels very smooth. Your second step is the cream. I always moisturize my face morning and night since I do have really dry skin. And this is basically a pro retinol cream and it only contains nine ingredients. Both the serum and the cream contain less than 11 ingredients. And this cream basically reduces the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and uneven skin tone. It also helps to rejuvenate the skin and uh, helps reproduce cell turnover. I really like the texture of it because it's a thicker consistency, but it doesn't linger on top of your face. For foundation on a day-to-day -day basis, I like using something that is lightweight and hydrating. I never wear full coverage foundation on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just not what I like. I really prefer a nice youthful and hydrating look. So I always make sure I pick a foundation that is pretty glowy. I just really like that appearance. Again, I think it's really youthful. Sometimes I'll reach for a BB cream or tinted moisturizer as well. For blush and bronzer, I love using this palette that has blush, bronzer, and highlighter in it because it cuts down on time. I don't have to uh, reach for products behind me and my makeup drawer. It's just kind of all there. And I love this formula. It's just so emollient. It blends into the skin nicely. Uh, so I just take a fluffy angled brush. This is meant for foundation, but I find it works great with uh, cream or liquid bronzers and I just buff that into my skin and it kind of just looks like I have uh, a little bit of a sun-kissed glow and then I just tap a little bit of blush uh, onto the apples of my cheeks with my fingers and I move into my eyes so on a day-to-day -day basis I uh, just prefer a brow gel tinted sometimes clear today i'm using clear uh, my brows have really grown out in the past couple years and so i don't always feel like i need to use a pencil or even a tinted brow gel sometimes just brushing them up and making them a little bit more polished works for me and then i love using a cream shadow this is just a cream shadow stick that's almost the color of my skin tone when you blend it out it really fades and it just gives uh, the crease of your eye a little bit more definition and for mascara I really like brown mascara uh, something about brown mascaras on a day-to-day -day basis I'm just all about um, so if you've never tried brown mascara and you really like natural looks I would highly recommend it I love the way it makes my lashes look black is just it looks harsh on me especially when I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow so just a little tip there and for lips uh, there's no telling what I'll put on my lips today I was feeling something a little bit more bold so I used this rosy lip crayon and uh, that completes my routine I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below once again thank you to shortlist for partnering with me on this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye